Detroit police investigating a grisly discovery after skeletal human remains are found in a city sewer. They were found at Stople Park on Detroit's west side. Police say there is ongoing construction at the park and a worker lifted the actual sewer grate to an active sewer line and that is where he found the remains of the adult. Experts believe those remains have been in the sewer anywhere from a few months to a few years. The Wayne County Medical Examiner's Office will be in charge of removing those remains and then identifying the body. A Detroit police officer has been indicted on several charges, including drug conspiracy. Court documents show Officer Christopher Staten is accused of conspiring with several drug traffickers to distribute heroin, fentanyl, and cocaine. He's also accused of sharing sensitive law enforcement information with those drug traffickers. The officer faces up to life in prison and a fine of $10 million. You'll hear from Chief James Craig about these new charges during Local 4 News at 5. After spending 16 years behind bars, murder charges against a Detroit man have been dismissed. Mubarez Ahmed was released from prison last month, and today he has total freedom. Ahmed was convicted of second-degree murder in 2002, but the Michigan Innocence Clinic worked on his case for nine years. And this afternoon, after his charges were dismissed, Ahmed called out the lead officer in his case. Put him in there, let him feel how I felt for 17 and a half years, let you lose your mother, your son, and, and, and so on, and you know, and, and your brother in prison. It, it, it's not fair for me to lose my life because of you, because you didn't know how to do your job, because you wanted a conviction. Ahmed was originally sentenced to 40 to 60 years in prison.